Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to create this creative looping animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks inside of After Effects. And if you want to learn more about motion graphic and other stuff, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses, links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 second and duration is also 30 second. And background color is a uh, white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title section. Now I'm going to select my ellipse tool and I'm going to pick up any color uh, over here. I'm going to pick up let's say this bluish color. Uh, a little bit somewhere around over here and by holding shift I'm going to create one uh, uh, square like this now select this and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this select this and press y on your keyboard to select pen behind tool and enable this snapping so we can adjust this anchor point properly over here now select this hit enter and let's call it as blue and hit ok select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point properly at the center for now then hit enter and let's call it as red now over here we will change the color of this layer also into the red one so it will be easy for us to understand now select this and press s and let's make the scale 50 over here go to the fill options and we are going to choose red color over here like this select this uh, let's do one thing instead of red we will uh, choose a little bit purple color over here which is going to be mixture of purple and bluish a little bit like this okay but we can name it as red just for our reference now zoom in a little bit uh, as you guys know that we have enabled our snapping so we can simply move this over here like this so if you see we are gonna get something like this now select this press y for pen behind tool and we will bring this anchor point over here like this now let's make this fit now select this red uh, uh, layer over here press p for position right click choose separate dimensions we are going to select this red one and we will make it apparent with this blue one now create one keyframe at y position zoom in a little bit let's go to around one second create another keyframe and go to around 20 frames create another keyframe and in middle of that which means at 25 frames we will select this and we will change the y position over here go to the start and let's move this over here now select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here select this move one handle over here zoom in a little bit select this by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here okay so if you could play now we will get this kind of animation like this now after that select this uh, and make sure that it's parent with this blue one now select this blue one press r for rotation create one keyframe over here or go over here somewhere around like this create one keyframe uh go somewhere around 1.20 frames and let's rotate it like this then go somewhere around over 20, uh, 20 frame forward over here we will rotate it like this then go 10 frame forward let's make this zero now select those keyframes and hit f9 to easily those keyframes like this let's move this over here only and by holding alt i'm going to reduce the duration over here let's move this a little bit over here now select those keyframes go to the graph editor like this now initially let's select this and move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this let's select this move this handle over here and move this handle over here first of all right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph okay like this 
then select this move this handle over here and move this handle over here okay now let's select this one press r for rotation create one keyframe go somewhere around few frame forward and let's rotate it like this then at this point over here we will rotate it like this okay select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor like this select this move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this select this move this handle sorry select this move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this then at this point i'm going to select this red one and i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer hit u and we are going to delete all of these keyframes we don't need that and now select this and let's unlink this parenting select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press p for position create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y then press r create another keyframe at rotation and hit u then go to around four seconds uh, let's make this rotation zero go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this and in middle of that we are going to select this and we'll bring the y position of this one over here go over here and let's make this minus one okay now select this y position keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this by holding shift move one handle over here move one handle over here select this move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here like this okay now select this and by holding alt i'm going to reduce the duration up to somewhere around like this okay now at this point i am going to select this rotation keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here i think this looks weird so simply hit f9 or simply hold ctrl and click so it doesn't look very odd select this last keyframe and you can hit f9 over here to just to easy nice those okay see so at 9 at this point i'll press s create one keyframe hit u go over here let's make this 100 okay select this and hit f9 okay so we will get this kind of animation now select all of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as animation 01 and hit ok now after that uh, at this point i'll select this animation 01 and uh, select this and hit ctrl d select this and uh, we will move this sorry uh, we will move this over here select this animation 01 press ctrl shift d and we will delete this now we have the second composition over here but over here i want to switch this color so for that i'll select this animation 01 com I'll hit Ctrl D and by holding Alt, I'll replace this one with this one. Now go inside this and now over here, all we need to do, let's select this and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and just move them over here. Now select this one with the help of this picker. I'm going to pick up this color and select this red ones by holding Shift, select those colors and with the help of this picker, we will pick up this color and we will delete this extra layers. We don't need that okay so if you see this animation now first i'll get this animation then i'll get this animation now let's go inside this and let's see where is this animation ending at this point so over here this is going to be my last position so i'll hold alt and close bracket select all of them press ctrl shift c and we will call it as main animation 01 and hit ok double click to open this hit n right click and choose trim com to work area now go to the main animation over here right click time and choose time enable remapping 
this is the last keyframe before that we will create one keyframe and then we will delete this last keyframe alt click on the stopwatch and we will type loop out expression over here so now we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop now we will select this and we will move this handle over here hit ctrl d and we will adjust it like this so press p for position select this let's make this 200 and let's make this 400 or let's say 450 okay so basically we need to add 250 in each and every one so hit ctrl d press p select this and let's add 250 in each and every one so hit ctrl d again add 250 hit ctrl d press p add 250 okay now select all of them and try to adjust them over here okay now we need a distance of 15 to 20 frames for each so i'll adjust it properly now select all of them hold alt open square bracket to trim this go to the start and let's move this over here like this okay now see by holding alt i'm going to not alt but by holding control i'm going to select this alternate layers and press s unlink this and i'm going to make this minus 100 or y axis okay select this hit u and as you guys can see my last keyframe is over here so i'll hit n over here because this animation is going to be continuously in the form of loop at this point okay and you can simply go inside this animation one select all of them and enable their motion blur also enable their motion blur now press ctrl y to create one solid background and we will bring this over here like this now over here what another thing you can do you can simply select all of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as one over here select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's uh, uh, unhide this hide this now select this and press p for position create one keyframe uh, and as you guys know that this animation is ending at this point we will select this one and by holding shift we will move this out of this composition and then we will enable this layer and we will select this and we will make it apparent with this first one okay so if i see this now as you guys can see we are getting this animation continuously in the form of loop like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of animation and if you find the glitch of over here is because of motion blur so if you want then uh, proper subtle animation then you have to disable this motion blur so now your animation will be something like this and if you don't want this reverse thing over here then uh, you can simply uh, keep it as it is like uh, press s and instead of that you can simply type 100 only like this okay so this is also one thing that you can do over here so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation inside of After Effects.